All right, so one thing I noticed is I don't have my visualizations after uh, calibrating. I'm gonna throw it in park, go into uh, my settings, autopilot, and uh, I have to re-enable all this, which is very interesting. Today I wanted to go over some of the things that I found when I calibrated the cameras on my Tesla Model 3. Now I've had this car for just over a month and this was my first time calibrating the cameras. So first of course, let me show you exactly what you do on the car to get these cameras to calibrate. It's truly not that hard. First real quick, click that like button, click subscribe and indulge in your life at Indulge Clothing for the merch. And now let's see how we would calibrate the cameras on a Tesla. So to recalibrate your cameras, you click your little car icon, you go over to service, and then you go over here to camera calibration. Now this will tell you that it'll clear your autopilot calibration and uh, basically that you have to drive while it recalibrates. Recal so we'll clear the calibration. It says it's cleared successfully. And right now I will not have any autopilot features until my little steering wheel comes back. I'll show you that in a moment. All right, so this is where it says calibration in progress. This process supposedly takes about 30 minutes. They say to call Tesla if it takes more than an hour. You'll notice up here that my little steering wheel has like a tiny little blue dot. Basically, that's gonna turn into a complete circle around the steering wheel like you normally see, and then you'll be able to engage autopilot or full self-driving, of course, if you have full self-driving. Now, if I try to enable it, cruise control unavailable, continue driving to allow cameras to calibrate. They also tell you to get on like a three lane road. Sadly, I don't have that, but luckily the road I'm on does have good lines, which that's supposedly important. So it's uh, 6, 16 a.m. Let's see how long this takes to calibrate. Wow, that just jumped up a ton. Like it went from barely there to like over 50%. 6.17 a.m. Let's see what happens. So crazy enough, it's almost done and it's been like two or three minutes. It's going way faster than I thought. Alright, we are even closer. 6.20 a.m. I'm very surprised at this. And there we go, calibration complete. So uh, now you see our steering wheel is back to blue. And if I go twice on the steering wheel, we are now autopilot so uh, that was much easier than I anticipated it to be and literally took like five to ten minutes I mean I don't even think we've driven like five miles all right so one thing I noticed is I don't have my visualizations after uh, calibrating I'm gonna throw it in park go into uh, my settings autopilot and uh, I have to re-enable all this which is very interesting I wonder if, uh, is all of this still the same? Yeah, that seems to be the same. So it turned all of that off. So that's that's pretty weird. Go back into drive and uh, good. Now this is back. I was very sad to see that gone, but I guess for whatever reason, it completely disables that. Tesla, can you just push an update to re-enable that once it calibrates? Because I mean, I shouldn't have to turn that back on. Thank you. Now, of course, as you can see in my example, I honestly drove for about five miles and my cameras had calibrated, which truly I was absolutely surprised by. So I was truly blown away and surprised that they calibrated that quickly, but that was the experience that I had. The reason you would want to calibrate your cameras is because they're used to see things when autopilot or full self-driving is enabled. So for example, that's how they're able to read the speed limit sign to know, to know how fast to tell the car to go. It's also how they're able to see the other vehicles and items around the car. The Tesla manual does not exactly say how often you should calibrate them. Just basically if you're noticing an issue, you should calibrate them. So we were doing a lot of full self-driving and we had some weird things happen. Somebody mentioned in the comments to calibrate the cameras, so I went ahead and did it. If you're picking up a brand new Tesla from the dealer, it will calibrate the cameras as soon as you leave the lot. You'll see that same little feature with the steering wheel that'll slowly turn into a full circle. It's a brand new car, that's just how it works. The only other time you may get your car back and see that the cameras are calibrating is if you went in for service. If they had to replace a camera or change something, they may go ahead and set them to calibrate mode. That way when you leave the dealer, they'll recalibrate and then everything will hopefully work. 
Now typically Tesla says that uh, 20 to 25 miles is what that it takes to calibrate the cameras and they want you to be on like a five lane highway where you're in the middle and there's lanes on both sides of you. Now unfortunately we live on a two lane highway and uh, we couldn't do that but still somehow I was calibrated in five minutes so it also says in the manual that if you drive 100 miles and your cameras have not finished calibrating, that you should reach out to Tesla support. And then the only other thing I will add, and which you saw in our video, is that it seems when you calibrate the cameras, it disables full self-driving. Don't really, don't know why that was. Once cameras were calibrated, I had to go back in and re-enable my visualizations to uh, even access the full self-driving beta. That was kind of news to me, but again, this was my experience calibrating the cameras on my Tesla. And as you also saw, if you try and use anything, it just tells you that it's disabled. And so truthfully, I think that will do it for the Tesla camera calibration video. I wanted to show you what you would do to calibrate your cameras and what my experience was. Hopefully nobody runs into that whole 100 mile contact Tesla thing, but hey. So not too complicated, and I can say that my full self-driving has seemed a little better. The beta, since I calibrated, it seemed to be more accurate, less jitteriness in the steering wheel, less weird maneuvers. So uh, me personally, I'm probably going to calibrate my cameras every three to six months. I don't know when you're supposed to. The, uh, the manual doesn't even tell me, but hey. So click like, click subscribe, and indulge in your life at Indulge Clothing for the merch. And we'll see you in the next one. Deuces.